Hello everybody, Red Zero Inferno here. <laughs> Man, that sucks. Hello everybody, Red Zero Inferno here, and welcome to Stories Untold. Now, this game is not new. It's been out for a while. Um, at the very least, I know the first part starts with a choose-your-own-adventure style game within it. Um, we'll see how this goes. I don't know how well this is going to work. We'll, uh, we'll work through it. But it is officially spooky season, which means, obviously, I have to play spooky games. Duh. That's how that works, right? Spooky season means spooky games. So let's get into it, shall we? I don't really have much else to say other than that, so let's get started. Sometimes you may need to look beyond the screen to progress, but what's that? What does that mean? This is very loud. I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting it to be this loud. Give it a minute. Hopefully it's not too loud, because I don't want it to be louder than... Well, I don't know. I'm sure you guys could probably still hear me clearly. Okay. That's a really uncomfortable sound. You pull up to the driveway of the f or of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's as idyllic as you remember from all that time ago. You remember being told to look in the glove box before going in. It's good to be back. Here, hold on. Let me... I'm going to turn subtitles on and... Oof, I can't change the volume. Man! Alright, well, I'll just turn it down in my headset, I guess. Alright. Uh. Okay, so. Look. In. Glove box. Glove box is closed, but it appears to be unlocked. Open. Glove box. Inside is a key, a handwritten note from Dad. You take both. Read note. <clears throat> the note is from your dad and reads, Hi, son. I hope you enjoy your break. You'll need to fire up the generator around back to get power and the lights on. Also, found something in the attic for you. It's in your room. Enjoy. Enter. Pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's as... Oh, I already read that part. It's good to be back. Okay. Uh... Uh... Look. Car? It's a nice, clean car. Not much to see, but there is a glove box. I... I obviously, there's a glove box. Um... Open trunk? Don't know what you're trying to use. Uh, you don't know how to open the trunk of the car? Okay. Uh, start car? What happens? Sorry, I don't understand. Why not? Uh, get out of car. Open the car door and step out. House is grand and perfectly amongst the... Tr or sat perfectly amongst the trees. In front of you is the front door and the yard stretches around the side of the house. <clears throat> Inspect front door. Door appears to be locked. Use key. You insert the key and turn. The door lock clicks open. Okay. Uh, look through window. Sorry, I don't understand. Check window. All right, fine. Uh, open door. Step inside the front door. 
You enter the house in the hallway. You enter the house to the hallway. It's dark and you can't see anything. You feel a light switch next to the door, however. The switch probably isn't going to work because I haven't turned the generator on yet. So, flip switch. Do switch. I click and nothing. There is no power. The note should say how to restore it. Okay. Go outside. Set up south. Vip. Yep, I understand that part. Okay. Hold on. Okay, so go around. Uh, the yard stretches around inspect yard. Spacious yards ascends around the side of the house. A great place to relax in the summers. Go. Uh, go around back. Where do you like to go? Side yard. Go side yard. Take a walk. You take a walk around the yard. The yard has been well maintained. You spell a lot, spend a lot of time here with your family on holiday trips. Good memories. Okay. Uh, go to the back. No! Damn it. Go to the backyard. Okay. Look. 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 Generator. Fuel gauge is healthy and it's manually operated. Start generator. You switch the generator on and it works to life. The house is still dark. Interesting. Go inside. Sorry, I don't understand. Go back. Back around to the front of the house. Go inside. Use switch. Flick the switch and the lights come on. The hallway is now brightly lit. There is access to the kitchen and living room here, as well as a set of stairs going up. Inspect living room. Look living room. Look kitchen. Okay. Uh, go kitchen. You walk into the kitchen. Kitchen is tidy and well kept. That's a surprise. There is a door to a utility room, but otherwise it's just a kitchen. Open door. Utility room door is locked. You have no idea where the key could be. Okay. Go back. Go living room. Step inside the living room. A spacious and comfortable living room. We spent a lot of good time in here playing board games with the family. Warm and inviting. Look. Look. There's nothing here of interest. I don't believe that. Uh... Start fireplace fireplace no okay go back yep <clears throat> go upstairs stairwell landing there's a bathroom and two bedrooms you and your sisters pictures adorn the walls image of happy times Okay. Go bathroom. Step inside the bathroom. 
We're in the bathroom. There's not much to note, but it's all in good order. Look, mirror. It's your reflection. Looking good. Aha! Wash face. Sorry, I don't understand. What do you mean? That's a simple command. All right, fine. Um. Uh. Okay. I was. I'm just trying to fuck with the system. I don't know what I'm doing yet. Check bedroom. Look bedroom. Okay, go bedroom. All right, uh, go sister's room. Walk into your sister's old room. Your sister's room is in perfect condition, untouched since the last time you'd seen her. Posters of her heroes and some of her own attempts at art adorn the walls. A few shelves are crammed full of trophies. Her bed is drowned under a pile of colorful soft toys. A real nostalgia trip. Look, toys. Every soft toy she has ever owned. Look, posters. Posters of all her favorite pop stars mixed with some of her own art. Look, art. Okay, same thing. Look, trophies. She won a lot of trophies for dance and gymnastics. Talented girl. Okay. Go back. Step back out onto the landing. Go my bed. Walk into your old room. Your old bedroom. So many good memories in here, and it's been preserved so well. On the desk is a gift wrapped box. Ins oop. Inspect gift. A large gift wrapped present. The tag says your name. Open. Present. You want to wrap the gift excitedly? Can't believe it. Dad has found your old computer. Wow. A Futuro 128K plus 2. It's been preserved well in the attic and hopefully still works. Press enter continue. Your old bedroom. On your desk. And a copy of the house abandoned. It's all still to be set up though. Wait. But I'm playing the house abandoned. Wait a minute. Wait. Wait a minute. Is the game within the game? Because that is concerning and I am not okay with that. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm tempted to just type do it, but I know the fucking thing isn't going to understand that. Uh, set up computer. Start plugging the various cables and leads. Computer is all set up and ready to go. There's a game here too. Start computer. Put the cassette in the computer. Uh, that's weird. Oh, God. Pardon me? Oh, the power went out. Oh, it's upside down. That's not good. I can't get out. I see that. It says get out. What? You can't stand to be near this place? That's different. Uh. Check. Oh, wait, hold on. Open box. Inside is a key and a handwritten note from dad. Read note. Don't recognize the handwriting. It says, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Get out the car, get out the car, get out, get out the car, get out. Okay. Well then. You 
forced the warped car door open. The house looks abandoned. There is a yard to the side. Wood creaks in the wind, and all happy memories are gone from this place. There is no love here. Ooh. The door appears to be locked. Never mind. Uh, go around back. Go backyard. Step through the debris to the backyard. It's not a nice place to be. You clutch the node, needing to look around. Look, generator. Little generator can fly. Start generator. Uh, ugh. I don't, I don't, hmm. go front door, back to the front of the house. Um, uh, unlock front door. Hurts to hear. Ugh. Okay. Uh, enter. Open door. You're reluctant. Is this like super hot but spooky? Okay. The reason I say that is because in super hot. There's the thing. I mean, you guys watched my. You should have watched my playthrough of like the original Super Hot on my channel, right? I have Super Hot VR. I might play that. Um, but we'll get back to that. In Super Hot, there's a thing where you go. Spoilers. Okay. Spoilers. Spoilers for Super Hot. Okay. If you don't want the spoilers for Super Hot, skip ahead a little bit. I'll fucking wave my hands around. Um, when it's ready, okay? So, spoilers for Super Hot. So, in Super Hot, there's a point towards the end where you have to go and shoot yourself in while you're controlling somebody else. It's really weird. Um, but, like, am, are we doing the same thing? This is the waving part for the, the people that skipped. There you go. Welcome back. Okay, so that's pitch black, but your senses are punished more by the smell, stale air, and damp. This could not be less inviting. The note burns in your hand. You feel compared to read note. Turn on light. Afraid of what you might see, you flick the light switch. Lights flicker on and off. <clears throat> The walls are falling apart after years of neglect or worse. Upstairs, the sound of an alarm clock blaring. Someone else is in this house. This can't be. Stop. Make it stop. Make it stop. Make it stop. Read note. Make it stop. Make it stop. Make it stop. Stop. Alarm. Somehow the alarm stops. You can feel the panic set in. You're still in the hallway. The noise has stopped, but you feel a presence. Someone is in the house. They should not be here. There is a kitchen and a living room adjacent and the stairs leading up. The note feels disgusting in your hand. Read the note. Can't read the note. It's ble- Why is the note bleeding? Why is the note- Why is the note bleeding? Why is the- Why? That's not okay! Why is the note bleeding? Wipe blood? I'm sorry, I don't understand. Why is the note bleeding? I don't understand either, man. What do you want from me? Read note. Drop note. Leave note. No, wait. Call me a coward. Fuck you. Go inside. Call me a fucking coward. It should not be here. Alright, uh... 
go kitchen. You go into the kitchen. I'm gonna regret that. The kitchen stinks and feels completely unfamiliar. The tabletops are rusty metal and there is a carcass on the table. What? There is writing on the wall and the utility room door has a red X painted on it. Inspect carcass. You look closer but can't tell what it is or what it was. Uh, read writing. In blood, the number 1986 is smeared across the wall. Alright, hold on. 1986? Is that relevant? I don't know if that's relevant. Oh, no, it's right there. Okay, never mind. That's fine. That wasn't there before, but it is now. Okay, cool. Good. Great. Never mind. If you don't need to write it down, it's right there. Uh, check door. Uh, uh, utility room door. <sighs> Fuck. Uh, open door? Door is locked. I can't get in there. Not yet. Yet? Ugh. Okay. Go. Living room. I fucking go back. Your shoes are wet. Why are my shoes wet? They fucking filled with blood. Read note. Can't read the note. It's bleeding. Yeah, great. Uh. Check shoes. Look floor. Look shoes. Ch fine, whatever. Uh, go living room. Enter the living room. Oh boy. I saw there was red text there. Did you guys see that? I didn't. Can you guys pause at that red? I don't know what that was. A living room, although hardly an appropriate term. The furniture is threadbare and worn. The note is fixed in your mind. Dread fills the pit of your stomach. This is not a nice place. Read note? The note, always changing, now reads, Get through this. I don't care if you want to or not. Ugh. I wonder if the note changes in the kitchen. Oh. The living room? Okay, that's fine. Ah. Uh, go living or go back. We're gonna go back. We're gonna go to the kitchen really quick and then see if I can check the note while I'm in the kitchen. Because I might be able to check the note while I'm in the kitchen. I may have already done that and not have been able to, but I'm gonna try anyway. Go kitchen. note. Paper now feels like fabric. It's covered in blood. You can just make out the words. There is nothing for you here. Okay. Go back. Shoes are wet. Why are my shoes wet? Go upstairs. A creek. Yeah. Same but different. The landing has access to your sister's room, your room, and the bathroom. Ah. Uh, behind the door, phone starts to ring. You don't understand. Neither can he. Answer phone. Hear him answer the phone, your mind hurts and you taste iron. Voices spill out of the phone into the room. Whoever is in there should not be there. You need to hang up the phone. I do, whoever. You consider the worst. Hang up. Relief. Same but different. Ha! This is fucking awful! I love it! <laughs> uh, inspect pictures. The pictures are of all of your family. The eyes have been scored out on all. Oh, okay. Uh, 
go, sister. Wait. Bathroom. Enter the bathroom. This is going to be regretful. Bathroom feels disgusting. Every surface is covered in a la layer of oily grime. The sink is a haven for all kinds of bugs. Look, mirror. You can't bear to look at yourself. Why not? Look, mirror. Okay, fine. Look, bathtub. Broken mirror hangs above the dirty sink. Taps rusted in position. Look, sink. It's disgusting. Grime and dead bugs. The taps won't budge. Okay. Uh, go back. It's brutal. I love this. Uh, something is different about them. That's fine. Go, sister's room. Jennifer's room is boarded up. You can't bear this. What? They didn't say her name last time. Right, okay. Go my room. This is gonna suck. Here we go. The door is bolted shut. Uh, Alright. One, nine, eight, six. Sorry, I don't understand. Enter code. Grab the lock. Lock is rusted, not used in years. The key in your hand weighs heavy, the noise heavier. Or the note heavier. Grab the lock and can now input the code. Read the note first. The note is reacting. Get in the door, get in the room, get in, do it, go. <sighs> Alright. Enter. Oop. Nineteen eighty-six. Lock clicks open. <sighs> All right, go my room. Door is closed. Open it. Open the door. Hello, me. It's the real me. I fucking, I don't know. Uh, enter bedroom. Where's bedroom? Enter my room. <sighs> oh, God. Oh, that's, that's in my ears, man. He's right behind me. <laughs> Stop it. Oh, oh God. <sighs> bedroom feels utterly familiar the walls are damp but you've been here before in front of you a lone person sits in front of a computer screen the lamp is on the clock reads 99 you shouldn't be here i shouldn't be here you grip the note tight read note i'm sorry jennifer i'm sorry mom i'm sorry dad you haunt every step i take even in this place it was out of my hands but still you punish me i can be with you now He's breathing in my ears, man. Or I'm breathing in my ears. What's happening? Uh, there's nothing left to do. I'm consumed and confused. This has to end now. End. You are pathetic. It was all your fault. Say it. No. Oh, please, stop. No. It was all my fault. Say it. No, fuck you. I don't know even what it, it is. I don't know what it is. I'm not going to fucking say it's my fault if I don't know what it is. Fuck you. We ain't playing this goddamn game. I have played this game before. Not literally this game, but I have played the it's your fault. You should know what it is game before. I fucking hate that. Don't fucking play that game with me. Don't ever fucking play that game with me. It just pisses me off. If I did something wrong, fucking tell me what it was to my face. If I'm clueless, I'm sorry, that's my- I'm stupid, okay? Just fucking tell me what the problem is. Don't give me none of this you should know what you did wrong shit. I don't play that game anymore. I played it for too long, I'm not playing that. No. Fuck you. Absolutely not. Nope. Not gonna. Why? 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 Nah. Fuck you. 
You get I'm gonna sit here all day and keep typing shit. You ain't gonna stop me. Stop. Nope. What did I do wrong? No. Kill. I don't even remember what. Say what? I don't even remember what I was supposed to say. <sighs> Is it? <sighs> All right, well, I guess I don't have a choice if I want to advance this, so. I did. Wait, I did. Say what? I, I don't know what this one. Oh, fuck. Hold on. I don't actually know what it wants for me, and I guess I fucking need to figure that out. Hold on. One second. Finally. Oh, I'm dead. Okay, that was that was something. That was uh, that was certainly something. I fucking loved that. That was amazing. Okay, so that was really well done. It was gorgeous, like, visually, even though I was just sitting there the whole time. That was beautiful, okay? Um, I am going to go ahead and do this in different episodes. So I'm going to go ahead and end this here, and in the next episode we'll do uh, the lab conduct, I guess. Thank you guys so much for watching. It has been a pleasure. I hope you have enjoyed. Oh, Jesus Christ. That was fucking it was very uncomfortable but i loved the absolute fuck out of that here hold on that was fucking a little high there we go okay uh thank you guys so much for watching it has been a pleasure i hope you have enjoyed this episode of stories untold i hope you will continue to enjoy my upcoming series on this apparently um i was thinking about streaming it originally but lately my stream stuff hasn't been working and in all honesty i'm not even sure if uh, Twitch is worth streaming on, what with all of the stuff happening the way it has been lately. I'm not even affiliate, and I'm still fucking pissed off for the, my friends who are affiliates on Twitch. Um, and especially for the people who are partnered on Twitch. Because, as per usual, the corporate overlords are just concerned with more and more profit forever for themselves, not giving a shit about the people that make the money for them. Whatever. Um, that's neither here nor there. That's, that's not a topic for this video. That's a topic for a separate video entirely, but, um, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. Thank you guys again for watching. Uh, if you don't mind, check out my other spooky games, um, on my, on my channel. If you don't mind, uh, subscribing by all means, please do, especially if you're coming back on the regular anyway, I'd really appreciate it. It helps me out. Um, if you want to see more of my stuff, if you do subscribe, then you should probably also hit the bell because then it'll notify you when I upload, unlike if you just subscribe and don't hit the bell, in which case it'll just fucking ha add me to your subscriptions but then not tell you anything. And then when that happens, if you don't visit my channel, you might automatically get unsubscribed because YouTube just does that sometimes. Um, let's see. 
Is there anything else I need to talk about? I don't think so. I think that's it. Okay, well, either way, thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I will see you guys in whatever I uh, record, upload, or stream next. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody. Hold on. Here, we're going to do it this way. There we go. Bye-bye, everybody.